Hello friends, I am Manoj Mittal. Here we are going to learn how to fetch the Azure SQL database data into the SharePoint online using BCS services and the secure store services. So let's get started. This is my uh, developer sites I created in the SharePoint online. It's a blank, nothing, any custom activity here. So for that, I just navigate to the Azure portal and we are going to create one uh, SQL database to store some dummy data and then we try to uh, fetch and just showcase into the SharePoint online. I just clicked on the create. So here we can give our database name. Database name can be anything. Demo 03. Subscriptions you can select. Resource group you can select anything. RG same demo 03 select the source we can create a blank database also or we can select uh, the sample database that is adventure works i select that one now the server configurations need to do click on the create new we can give the server name here demo 03 server anything we, here it asks uh, for the server admin login we can take any sa account and give the password for that just use SA admin. We can use the passwords, locations, and just select. So accordingly, we can click on the create, and it will create a one Azure SQL database for us. I have already created, so I'm not going through this process again. I just cancel this one. Okay. So this is my uh, BCS uh, demo. Uh, I created one Azure SQL database. So this is my server name. I take this server name. And we'll open this database and check it. So I just open this database uh, into the SQL Server Management Studio. So this is my server name, my database name. I just give the BCS demo. He expanded. So these are the some tables exist. I will see what data exists here. So I just select the customer table. So that's great. Here we have. Uh, almost 847 uh, rows so we'll fetch this customer data from here and show into the sharepoint online so i navigate again to my portal okay first i go to the secure store services this is my admin portals into the sharepoint so i just select the secure store services we'll create the one secure store services so it will create a one target application id uh, instead of passing the credentials while creating the connections, we'll pass this ID and it will always secure. So instead of passing the credentials, we are storing the credentials separately somewhere else and using that unique identifier to get the data. So I'll show how it's work. I just clicked on new. So let it open. Okay. It shouldn't take more time. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's great. It's open. We can give any uh, target application unique name, whatever we want here. Like I, we have a PCS hyphen demo I select. So same display name also I can give here. Email address you can give. Okay, so this is not required as of now. We'll just give the target application administrator. That is my account. I clicked on address book. Here I will search the my name Manoj Mittal. Okay, I select yet. Okay. Uh, we need to add the member and the group that are mapped to my credential. Again, I clicked on address book. So here again, I will search my name. It's identified at OK. So this is going to add the secure, like secure store services. I clicked OK. OK, I selected this one, set the permission. Uh, here we need to give the our source from where we are I'm going to fetch the data <clears throat> so uh, for us it's a azure sql database <clears throat> we can use windows or sa account as i have given the sa account i will use that one <clears throat> sa admin okay 
So we are done with the secure storage services. Okay. Now I'll navigate to portal and open the designer. So this is the designer. Here we can open the uh, any SharePoint online sites. I created one demo sites, blank sites with the developer template. I'm going to open this one. Okay, it's uh, loading. So I'm using the SharePoint Designer 2013. So it's the same interface what we use on what we are usually using under the on-prem. So here I clicked on the external content type. So the process is same. Here we need to create the external content type. It will create a connections with the SQL and using that external content type will create the one external list. So external content type, you can see there is a no external content type exist here. I click external content type from the ribbon. Just give the any name, demo, BCS. Okay, I clicked on external system where we need to connect, add connection. Data source, we have a SQL server. Okay, so we need to give the database server name. So let me navigate here. So we have BCS demo. Okay, BCS demo. Oh, sorry, that is database name. So we need server name server name we can take it from here or i can move to the portal so let me go to the portal where we have okay so this is my server name just stick it again navigate to the designer give it so here there's a three way of how we can connect to the sql server we can use the user identity impersonations or impersonations using custom identity so that we can give the secure store application id so what we created using the secure store services let me go there and take that name so we have bcs hyphen demo bcs hyphen demo okay so it's going to connect with that secure store services target application id it's connected I expand table i'll take any one particular table like customer table I right click and create all operations so it will create all the operations create read item update delete or read list next i'll take one particular primary key column and map with identifier it's taking by default next and just click on filter no other settings is required so this operations has created i just clicked on save right click and save on the tab section here so let it save so it's creating the external content type for us so it is done now click on the create list and form in the ribbon so here we are going to create the external list we can give any name demo hyphen bcs okay Click okay so this process is creating the external list before that we have created the external content type so once this process will complete we can go and check into the bcs applications so this is external content type exists there or not so let me close it so this is done okay so i'll navigate to the bcs we'll see that our external content type has come here or not so it shouldn't take more time yep I clicked on the manage bdc model and external content type to review my external content type yeah it exists here so what i created that's great i'll just set the permission object we'll just cross check yep it's have a permissions full permissions is there that's great now navigate to the uh, my sharepoint online uh, developer site here i go to the site content 
So here I will search the particular list. So we have a demo DCS. I clicked. So once it's opening, it just uh, fetching the data from the Azure SQL database. So let's wait. Yeah. So now you can see we have a record here. All the data is coming from the adventure works Azure SQL database into the SharePoint online. So this is this is the way how we can create the external list and fetch the data from the Azure SQL into the SharePoint online with zero code solutions. Thanks for watching my tutorial.